where they sell pineapple. Hello guys, sorry you can't see me this morning. I'm going to a farm market at Ubomosho. This is very early in the morning. This is to six because I have to get to the market before the everything round up is early morning market so guys i want to take you to ogbomosho ogbomosho is in all your states so let's get it i'm going to continue the video when um, the weather is very very clear i know you can hardly see me now hello guys it's getting brighter so you can see my face now so say we are going to ogbomosho and um we want to go and see what they have in Oboma Show. What are those farm products they have in Oboma Show? The business you can do if you go to Oboma Show, or what you can buy, or you've been selling a particular farm product, but you don't know where to get them direct. Eh? I'm taking you on the right journey on where you can get them, as have free access to them, where they have this farm products in abundance. So let's ride on. If you're watching me if not subscribe to your like please 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 support my youtube channel support me please so let's ride on guys the weather is getting so bright so i hope you can see my face very well now so like i said we're going to ogbo mosho ogbo mosho is in oyo state and they are farm market so this early money i'm taking you to ogbo mosho so let's go on this farm market this man nearly misses boss i think they were about taking off he has to run like his life depends but i miss the boss to your working place you can put that in the comment section i'm leaving this early morning to the world road because we can only get a um, show boss in the world road. so i'm firstly taking a cab all the way from new garage challenge side to all job boss terminal Going to Obomosho, they carry Ilori and Obomosho in the same bus. So guys, I'm inside the bus going to Obomosho and um, I'm at the last seat. So Obomosho from Ibadan is um, 1-5 at um, Ojo Bus Terminal. So let's enjoy the journey. Enjoy the travel with me. Though I don't know much of the places, so sorry, I might not be able to tell you those towns that we get to before we get to Bumashop. But anyone that can act and if you tell me, then I will share with you guys. guys welcome to the biggest farm market in western part of nigeria <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to another beautiful video. I'm here at Ubomosho and this is the Ubomosho. Oh, this is Ubomosho and this is Oja Oba. Oh, sorry, this is Odo Oba market in Ubomosho where they sell mango. In fact, when you want to start mango business or you need mango, this is the perfect place to come to. They have more than enough mango here. And the prices are so so cheap because I realized like this basket on the floor she said is one five I was so amazed so cheap and the other one the right one this one too is right but they said they, they have vested this one why this one fell down the right yellow one fell down from the tree by itself so this one is three thousand why this one is going for one five and guys if you want a Bomosho mango, if you've never tasted a Bomosho mango, this is the real Bomosho mango. You will love it, you will like it. You don't want to take any other mango apart from the Bomosho mango. And there are different types of mangoes that they are telling me. They have looked around, I've seen different types of mangoes. 
they name them according to their town that they can understand. One is Palaba, one is Jekonyo. I was, I mean, Jekonyo Palaba, Sherry, you know me. Sherry, Jekonyo Palaba, Palaba, Palaba. Ele is your my debut issue. Palaba, Lele. And this one to Palaba. So, this is Palaba, but I would still have to get the English name. They just name it after their own way of knowing and identify the mangoes in this time. They call this one Palaba. I was made to understand that we have all these mangoes. You know, there are some mangoes when you open them, um, the water will, that's the fruit, that's the mango water will just start pouring out. They, I was made to understand that that is from Oyo. Oyo is a town. We have Oyo town, although we are in Oyo state, but we have Oyo town in Oyo state. So that Oyo town, their own kind, or let me say their own types of mango tree, is that other one that comes, is not um, this mango that looks like yam. The ass is more or less soft, and the water comes out so fast when you cut it open. So we have different types of mango so that particular type of mango is from oyotan that is what she was trying to explain but the one they have here is what they call the popular sherry mango the part that type of mango that um you can take your knife and you cut i was amazed when cc me make the video where she was showing us how to eat mango if you if you don't have this type of Ogbomosho mango, that is this type of sherry mango. You won't be able to achieve what CCME does. She cut it and she was eating like she was eating yam. You can only achieve that with a particular type of sherry mango. Cashew. They also sell cashew in basket here. But as we will still look at more of mangoes, different types of mangoes that you can find in Ubomosho. Now, getting to Ubomosho, you to be so amazed that every vendor, let me say 90% of the market women and market men, they are selling mango. So they have mango in abundance in Ubomosho. Let's just take this mango for the fact that it tastes so sweet. Most of us cannot really tell what is the health benefit of taking mango. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the health benefit of mango. Number one, the mango supports your high health. If you're taking enough mango, it helps with your eye, clearing of your eye, and any issue with, you have with your eyeballs, anything that has to do with your eyes, it does help. Another thing mango does in your body is it helps with the heart your heart it helps with your heart is very very good it supports the heart another reason is it maintains the skin and hair your hair your skin that's why i would tell a lot of people that once there is um, a particular fruit in season please try as much as possible take advantage of that fruit don't say oh people are taking it i don't want to take it because it's excess no it's for a different purpose and there is a benefit of mango is it aids digestion if you're kind of pressing you don't digest very fast yes mango is very very good for you and another thing it does is a what is is also and mango is also a protective anti oxidants so these are the health benefits of mango and more that you should know about mango the another thing we're going to be talking about about this mango is we are talking about the business aspect of mango can you actually start mango business yes you can start mango business and you have you're going to make lots and lots of money from mango business now you like okay mango is a perishable good yes and it's a seasonal fruit yes but once it is in in season you can take advantage and make your money from mango what do you do you come to this market because this is like i said before this market is the biggest market in the whole of western part of nigeria and they have mango all the vendors i can say 90 percent of the women here they are selling mango and we have different 
types of mango like they told me this is jama mango this mango is very very big oh i wish you can see it is a very because i just have to put it in my hand I'm like wow this particular mangoes you can just eat one and you get satisfied guys if you are watching me you've not subscribed to jolakwe space please don't forget to subscribe share my video make sure that you click on that subscribe button so this mango market you can actually come around buy mango from this market and take it to any part wherever you want to take it to and you're going to make your money the mango this back is sketch mangoes the normal regular mango which is the normal sherry mango that this basket you're seeing some baskets are going for three thousand some are just going for two thousand some one thousand five hundred some even one thousand you could imagine i pressed a price a basket and she was like she told she said it's 1,500 and I said 700 and she said Mowowa, that is bring money I was like ah ah get to Mowowa, so basket <laughs> I should bring money for this basket that is 700 naira and so much so you can come around if you like mango if you're into mango production you're into mango fruit production there this is the right place this is the right place you can come to and get your mango then we should look at other things about mango let's look at the business aspect of mango the business aspect of mango if you are kind of person you are into fruits um juice production then mango is the next target for you mango is what you need now you need mango you're going to make lots of money and um, during mango season like this you're supposed to take advantage of buying in excess making your production against when it's going to be dry season that is when there's not going to be mango in season and you'll be selling throughout the year so it's an opportunity for you to look for a business that you can venture into look at mango as a juice look at the way you can um let me put it this way in a way that you can convert mango fruit preserve it till the next um season till the next mango season like for me i'm making research on it and i think i will be coming out big on mango how you can preserve mango because a lot of mangoes here at this particular market they, they are really pouring mango away the baskets that like these mangoes now they are ripe mangoes so if you are going to a very far distance maybe from this oshogbo to lagos state you have to buy this one so by the time you get it down to your state it's still going to be like okay almost um ripe but these ones they are not ripe yet you can't take it now so it, it will take like three or five days or seven days before it gets ripe and it's going to ripe on its own you don't need any artificial you don't need to add anything to make it ripe because it's matured now this this kind of mango is for long distance so once you buy for long distance you'll be able to keep them uh, once they get ripe then you can go ahead and um, convert it to juice that is mango juice but the ripe ones uh, like as i was like i was told this does not take more than three days the ripe mango the basket with yellow mangoes um after three four days they get spoiled and they dispose them that is they pour them away so i believe this is an opportunity for us those of us that are into juice business any orange juice pineapple juice uh purple juice you can also take advantage of going into mango juice production and if you really want to know how you can get to this place then ojola space is available for you you can just give me a call you can send message to my email i'm going to respond to any question you have when it comes to mango so this is ogbo mosho mango and i'm in ogbo mosho town this is ogbo mosho itself and the name of this market if you are going to this market on your own is an everyday market yes it's every day because the the, the mango is so much that um <laughs> they they are vest every every minute and let me not say every they are vest every minute they bring it down to the market throughout the day the next day they continue so this is how much the mango they have here is in abundance so we should take advantage of this mango not only having it to in um during the season of mango but also for us to have mango throughout the year even when the mango is also out of season.
have you ever tasted this type of they call this one jama mango this jama mango is very very big though this one is not ripe the ripe one is also in the form of this yellow color but this is greenish in color because it's not ripe but in two three days this mango is going to get ripe and this mango is big see my hand in fact you this is a mango that um when you cut it you just sit down eat it drink water and you are perfectly okay for that moment you'll be very very okay so this is a very big mango if you want they have this jama mango here if you want jama mango then they have it for you you can come around they sell in baskets what's lovely thing about this place is you can't just come to this market and see them sell mango two or three no they only sell in baskets but the most funniest thing about it is this if you want to eat mango you are free to take mango <laughs> so i was just like are you serious so i was just enjoying mango as in like uh, this opportunity i was just like eh i love this ogbo mosho and i like mango a lot so if you are uh if you are in the same mango club wow then you should visit ogbo mosho mango you can get them monday till saturday only on sunday you can't see them on sunday there's no market on sunday yes like this one they've put something on top they've sold them if you see them putting maybe small leaves small stick somebody have bought that one about to carry that particular basket but this ones they is still available so and they have to finish selling that day if they don't finish selling the next day they'll bring it back to the market and they are still bringing other mangoes from the farm <laughs> I love this mango. After moving around uh, the, um, some part of the market, then I get to realize that they also sell pineapple. This is pineapple market again at that same market. So they have different sections for different types of fruits. And they have mm -hmm. man, uh, pineapple here, and I was like, okay. I, I realized that since they have pineapple here, I need to just show you guys that, okay, they also have pineapple. So when you get to the market, the entrance of the market, and you're seeing mangoes everywhere, 
then you, you, you still need to move inside though it's very big inside when i say inside inside to see the pineapple market so you like what was telling me that there are different types of pineapple here and everything was not um, invested in Obomosho. they bought some pineapple from Bini and um, he was also trying to give me their price like this particular one is 12 that's what 12 penapu this size is going for 3000 naira so, ah, ah, wait up now <laughs> and it's ripe so this is 3000 naira depending on how big the penapu is so this particular size this is 12 is going for 3000 naira then you will now pay uh, 500 naira they call it uwole i don't know i don't really understand that um, uwole in yoruba stuff stuff that is maybe money for the shop or money for the ground they are selling so making everything to be 3500 so different sizes with different price but to me this pineapple here are very very cheap guys it might be so interesting that they have pineapple not just small pineapple they have it for resale so if you're interested in pineapple business and you'll be looking for where to get pineapple maybe you're making pineapple juice and you'll be thinking of where you can get your pineapple in abundance they have it here at Ogomo Show Market this is Odoba Market and you can find it in the market just walk around and ask them where they say Bibini cannot use a pineapple okay so this particular spot or you can just ask where they sell pineapple like i was told i think the price is cheaper now i think it's cheaper this place every time to walelele is at a very lesser price at this period. so you can come around and get your pineapple here looking for where to buy your pineapple maybe you're into pineapple um juice production then this market is your best plug when it comes to pineapple they have lots and lots and lots of pineapple big small medium they have lots of pineapple you can come around and take advantage of getting your pineapple they also will be to any part of the states you just need to give them a call and then they will get in touch with you ask you the size give you the price and they will send it to wherever you are in nigeria so this is what they do here. then now i move around i saw where they sell cucumber they sell cucumber also in bag and i asked them are they buying this cucumber outside or they plant this cucumber in ogbomosho and i was made to know that they have vested this cucumber from ogbomosho and this cucumber is just um, coming out that is um is just coming to the season of cucumber so they asked me like okay if i should come back in a month's time i'm going to see everywhere filled up with cucumber they plant cucumber in ogbo mosho and they harvest them and if you're a lover of cashew <laughs> me i love cashew because my parents they planted them cashew tree in our house when we were little so once is the season like this we always climb the street to get cashew so when i see cashew now like wow it reminds me of those days and i want to taste it again they sell cashew yeah they sell the cashew like this ones you're seeing they are selling five for hundred naira five of this cashew this cashew is very big just because of the camera you might not see how big the man uh, cashew is guys i'll be sharing the many parts of this video in my next video thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Till I see my next video. Bye.